important. We're going to talk about those. And then on top of that, we have two types of blocks. All right. I got two different types of blocks here. One was ran with coolant, like a dye, and the other one was run with just straight tap water. And I'm going to open them up and I'm going to show you what it does to your equipment when you run a dye or a coolant. Now there are some that are better than others, but the worst kind that you could possibly do are the ones that come in drops, like the add-ins. Those are the worst. Those break down, and when these break down, you end up with a powder or a, a coating. You see these two reservoirs? Can you guess which one was ran with the coolant and which one was just ran with regular tap water? That's right. This was regular tap water. This was coolant. Look what it did to it. It stained it. Now I can go in there with some Dawn dish soap and wash that off, but you know, some, why go through the extra work if you don't have to? So you're thinking, oh, you know, color is cool. I want to put different types of color in my computer, which a lot of guys do, but you can achieve that with different colors of tubing, right? You can see I got three different types of tubing. I got red, I got some blue, and then I got some black. But it also comes clear and blue for hardline. This is hardline stuff. It's acrylic plastic, all right? And then this is the, the soft tube stuff, right? It comes in all different shapes, sizes, colors, whatever you want. This is a flow meter that I pulled out of a build not too long ago. Can you see the buildup underneath it? Look at the threads. I know you can see that. See all that chalk, that white dust stuff? The coolant that I was running in here was a silver tone style coolant. So what it did is it kind of bleached the acrylic block because you can look if you look here you can see what color the acrylic block is supposed to be and then what color it is now I mean it just it gums it all up it's a bad idea I tell people all the time don't run coolants in your builds it's horrible alright check this out this is a fitting that I pulled out of this one of those builds can you see the white chalkiness that's inside that fitting it's crazy, look at that. All that whiteness that's up inside of there. That's that's just from this stuff. Here, I'll move the light closer. Maybe you can see it there. See where I scratched it to try to show you the difference between the two colors? But yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. That's what happens. It gets everywhere. It chalks up everything. It's It's bad stuff. So anyway, this is what you do want to run in your system. This is PT Nuke. This is a biocide. It's very important to put this in your loop. The reason why the reason why you want to put this in your loop is because it kills any of the bacteria or any of the stuff that may grow in your loop. It's very important to have this in your system. It's not very much. I bought this bottle about two years ago and it's lasted me this long. I mean, and I still have that much more to go. So it's a good buy for 10, 12 bucks or something like that. But this is definitely something you do need to add. And you only need to put a couple of drops. Boom, 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 that's it. Now, just because it's blue, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to change the water color. You won't even notice it because you're putting so little of this actually in your system that it won't change the color of the water or anything like that. So you'll be okay with that. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's break down these two blocks because I want to show you the difference in breaking down the block. This is the one that has straight tap water ran through it. Alright, so this is your micro fins. This is what's inside of your block, whether it be your GPU block or your water block or even in the radiator. 
you all have these micro channels in them. And this is where the destruction takes place. Now you can see that this one has been ran, but notice how the channels aren't really gummed up. See that? You can actually kind of still see through them. Okay? Now this is several months of water, just straight tap water with a little bit of biocide in it. Okay? That's the result that you want. That's real easy to clean. A little bit of toothpaste and a toothbrush, clean as a whistle. Now, let's tear apart the one that was ran with a coolant and show you the big difference between the two. Here's the back, here's the underside to the back plate. You can tell that metallurgy started to be gun inside of here. And you're wondering what is metallurgy? Well, that's what happens when you run a copper block. See how this one's nickel, copper and nickel. This is what happens when you run copper with aluminum. You mix a copper block with an aluminum radiator and you end up with metallurgy, rust, dust, grime, that kind of crap. That is what you will end up with on the outside of it. Now the inside is very interesting. Let's go ahead and open up the inside. Ugh, God, look at all the crap falling out of it. Look what it's done to that acrylic. See that? Look at that. See that? See that blue stuff down inside of there? Right there here, look. I'll put it on my glove. There you go. That's, that's your coolant. See what your coolant does? The heat breaks it down and it causes to turn into this crap, right? Here, look at the micro channel. Look how clogged it is. Look at that right so this one this one is tap water this one is coolant see the difference it just it whatever that coolant is when it breaks down it leaves this residue behind this this powder and that's what gets inside of everything it gets inside of your pump it gets inside of the walls of the tubing. The inside of your tubes will be like this. They'll have this white chalk stuff everywhere. And it turns into a nightmare. Here you go. This is the same radiator that was ran in those blocks. Let me show y'all this. Can you see down inside of there? Can you? Let's see here. You see that white stuff that's down inside of there? Yeah, that's the same crap. Look at the fitting where I thread it into. Look how gummed up that is. So you still want to run a coolant in your system, do you? Watch this video and I'm pretty sure I'll change your mind. This radiator is ruined. The problem is, is that if I was to hook this radiator up to a clean system, it's going to pump that crap out or some of it and it's going to get into my new loop. It's going to get into my new CPU block. And then next thing you know it, I'm going to end up with something like this. It just destroys your equipment. So don't run coolant, guys. Definitely don't. If you want to have color to it, like I said, you can go with different colors. I mean, look, I got hard line, I got hard line, I got soft tube, I got three different types of soft tube, red, black, and blue, and then I got a hard blue, I even got black hard line out in the garage, and then I got clear hard line in here. So you can have different color combos and still achieve the same thing without destroying your equipment. I mean, I think the proof is in these blocks. I mean, just look at the crap inside of there. 
It's ridiculous. Now, if you're wondering, Don, how do I get this stuff out? Toothpaste. Like I said earlier, you want to use toothpaste and a toothbrush and it will clean all that right out. Unfortunately though, for blocks like this that end up real bad corroded or real bad gummed up, um, you can try cleaning them, but there's probably no saving them. The, the damage has been done. What happens is, is the heat gets to them and it causes those micro fins to wave, to bend, to get close to each other, slowing your flow down, causing more resistance. Now, if you really want to see something crazy, check out the flow block. Okay. This, check this thing out. This is the plate, the distributive plate that goes inside of your block and the water hits this first before it gets spread across your micro fence. You can see how gummed up it is. Look at that. It, this should be a nice shiny chrome white color, but it's not. It has like dry chalk toothpaste crap all over it. See what I'm saying? Look at that buildup. This is why you don't run coolers and dyes and stuff like that. Now the best stuff on the market is the Thermocool um, View Color Liquid stuff. That I hear that that's the best. It, it takes about a year and a half before it starts to break down and when it starts to break down it doesn't it doesn't quite give you this monstrosity of a mess. I mean look at my gloves. From handling these stuff I got white powder all over my gloves. And this is what gets in your blocks. And this is what gets in your pumps. I can't tell you how many pumps that are dead because of this. I have tons of water cooling. I mean, I can't tell you how many radiators and reservoirs that I actually have that I can't use or no longer use because they are damaged. They are destroyed. So I kind of hope that this video helped you guys out. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you what happens when you run a coolant in your system. And if you don't believe me, you think I'm full of shit, well, look at my mat. Here, look at my mat. Look at all the white stuff coming out of this. All that chalk. You know? I, I know for a fact that Jay's Two Cents, Bitwit, Kyle, Paul... Gamers Nexus, all them guys, they've all talked about this. They've all talked about what coolant does for you. You know, look at the table. Look at all that crap that's everywhere. You don't want that in your system. You don't want that in your pump. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a bad idea, so just don't do it. Run clear water with a little bit of biocide. That's all you need. I hope this video helps you guys out. Please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me show y'all something real quick to point something out to you. Look at this. See how clear that still is? Look at my blocks. My blocks are still clear. Look at the reservoir. Notice how clear the reservoir is. Okay, this has been months. I've been running the same fluid in this system for about three months now. And I have no breakdown all of the fittings look good. I don't see any buildup around the tubes or around the necks or where it starts to, you know, bend and go this way. This right here is a distributing block for your VRAM. And I used it as a flow block. It has micro channels in it. You see those three lines right there? Those are the channels. By now, you would start to see built up in those, but you don't. Mine are clean as day. That's because I don't run a coolant in my system. And I won't have to. The most I'll have to do with this computer is pay attention to the water level. When the water level gets too low, I need to add more water to it. That's all I need to do. And if eventually, about six months in, I'll change the water out. It's good practice to change the water out. That way, if you do have anything in the system, you can get it out, flush it out, wash it out, put fresh water in it. All right, it's such an easy process to do and it will save yourself so much hassle. I mean, listen to me guys, I've been at this for 11 years. 
considering to what most people have to say about me, a lot of people think I'm an idiot or my videos are misleading or I don't know what I'm talking about. Really? Could somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about build something like this? Please, don't even try me thinking when it comes to computers. I know what the heck I'm talking about, all right? And I appreciate the subscribers and the followers that listen to me. I will not lead you astray, I promise you. I will give you the best info and the best knowledge and I'll never lie to you about something. I don't care if they paid me to build this system. I won't lie to you and tell you, oh, that it sucks or it's great or it does this or it does that. You can have this too. $3,300 later, you can have this too. You just got to know how to build it and put it together. And it's really not that hard. Uh-oh, it looks like my LED lights are falling in the back there. My custom lights and stuff. But anyway, I just, now I'm rambling. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, whoa, wait a minute, wrong way. There we go. Yeah, I like this new gimbal, man. This new gimbal makes life great, doesn't it? 